switching to a plant-based diet can contribute to combating climate change and reducing the likelihood of future pandemics. The global consumption of meat has more than doubled since 1975, reaching over 300 million tons. Advocates like Singer are urging people to boycott factory farms in order to reduce the suffering of animals caused by human actions. Switching to a plant-based diet is not merely a symbolic gesture, nor need it be an attempt to isolate oneself from the ugly realities of the world, to keep oneself pure, and so avoid responsibility for the cruelty and carnage all around. Avoiding animal products is a practical and effective step toward a healthier lifestyle for yourself that will also have other, even more important consequences. The people who profit by exploiting large numbers of animals do not need our approval. They need our money. The purchase of the flesh, milk, and eggs of the animals they rear is the most important form of support that factory farmers seek from the public. Although in many countries, government subsidies certainly help. Hence the need for each one of us to stop buying the products of the animal factories. Until we do that, we are contributing to their continued existence, prosperity, and growth, and all the cruel practices used in rearing animals for food. If avoiding factory farm products is a form of boycott, then what do we do if the boycott isn't working? That question has to be asked. Because since I called on readers to boycott meat in the first edition of Animal Liberation, 1975, worldwide consumption of meat has increased from 112 million tons to more than 300 million tons, with virtually all of the additional meat coming from factory farms.